In a rare television interview, a more recent mob squealer, Jimmy the Weasel Fradiano, verified the mob's rite of passage. They tell you what you can do, what you can't do. You can never talk to a grand jury. Uh, you've got to take the fifth or lie. You never talk to any FBI agents or any policemen. If you do, you've got to lie. If you don't lie, you get killed. Mobster Frank Costello followed the code of silence to the letter. I'm not going to answer another question. You just says I'm not under arrest and I'm going to walk out. Costello followed the rules. Fradiano is in hiding because he did not. Would you say that that's probably the most sacred rule? Yes, that, that is a sacred rule, yes. And yet you broke it. I broke it after 30-some years, yes. Why? Well, because they had a contract out on my life. Wearing perhaps the world's worst disguise, the wise guy, Henry Hill, tells us his reasons for deciding to snitch, not fight. You resigned from, from that corporation with a bone in your head. And uh, there's, uh, there's, there's no way out once you get involved with those people. Anyone that was a threat to them, they, uh, they executed. And uh, I was on that list at the end. Did you ever notice how the word mafia is never mentioned in the Godfather film? That omission is intentional. The result of a deal struck between the producers and Joe Colombo, the boss of a powerful crime family. Putting the muscle on the media and the movies and even ticketing the offices of the FBI were all part of a public relations campaign, begun by Colombo after his sons were arrested. Its theme, the mafia was a myth. The use of the word, a slander against people of Italian descent. There's a conspiracy in this country against every Italian American. Noting that Colombo was under investigation at the time, mob busting U.S. Attorney Rudolph Giuliani, himself an Italian American, says the mob was again trying the big lie. Uh, the mafia is a minuscule percentage of Italians and Italian Americans. It has nothing to do with the overwhelming vast majority of Italian Americans who are not involved with the mafia, are not criminals, are law-abiding citizens. And what uh, Colombo and some of the others did was create the impression that we had to lie to each other, that Italians wanted to perpetrate the big lie. Ironically, Joe Colombo was gunned down during one of his civil rights rallies, apparently because he broke the mob rule against attracting too much public attention. For a time, Joey Gallo, one of the hoods suspected of arranging the Colombo shooting, was himself quite a public person. He so impressed Bob Dylan, the singer even wrote a song about him. It didn't change Gallo's luck. He got blown away as he and his family celebrated his 43rd birthday in this New York clam house. In fact, a lot of these guys get it in restaurants. Carmine Galante was in the midst of enjoying a post-meal cigar when the Grim Reaper came calling. They say he was making a grab for another family's dope trade. Hours after his murder, federal surveillance cameras were recording when the hitman, a guy named Bruno, returned home to congratulations and a hero's welcome. Last year, Bruno got 40 years for the murder, which was, of course, no comfort to Galante, whose death left Big Poli Castellano as the toughest guy on the block. That's Poli on the left. His bodyguard and heir apparent, Tommy Bellotti, is on the right. Here's the pair a few weeks later, in December 1985. They'd made that classic mistake of relaxing in a restaurant. Now, like Gallo's Clam House and Galante's Italian restaurant, Castellano's Steakhouse is also a mafia landmark. So far, no one has written a song about Big Pauline.